Welcome to Nerd Watch, where we find the nerds who matter. My job is about creating environments. Meet Dr. Kit Parker, a lead scientist at both the Harvard Stem Cell Institute and the Harvard Wiese Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering. I know him on the battlefield, I know him in the laboratory. So why does this Afghanistan war veteran hold not one but two top research positions? Because he's trying to build human organs on top of computer chips. Check it out. On one side, lab-grown human cells. On the other, electronic sensors monitoring for changes. If it works, new drugs could be tested on human tissue without endangering any actual humans. But Dr. Parker doesn't stop there. Innovators don't follow the rules. His vision is to string together different organ chips. Heart cells with liver cells, brain tissue with stomach tissue. He calls it... Dude in a Box. With it, potentially life-saving drugs can be tested for very complex side effects. For example, sometimes a new heart drug can unexpectedly affect the liver. Dude in a Box can detect that kind of unanticipated reaction without harming anyone. It's hard to say how long it will take for Parker's chips to start saving lives, but if Hollywood's any indication, cyborgs will already be protecting humanity by the year 2028. You're coming with me.